A few years ago, I had the privilege of volunteering at a mobile clinic in my father's hometown in southern Nigeria. It was organized by a local NGO and I was stationed in the cervical cancer screening ward. Over the course of four days, we screened over 200 women and identified four cases of cervical cancer. Upon receiving their diagnosis, these women were given referrals to a general hospital that was a 45-minute drive away for treatment. As I left the town that week, I was burdened by lingering questions. Would they be able to afford transportation? Would they be able to afford treatment? Would the appropriate health provider be available to see them when they went? I realized that though our efforts were commendable, there were many other aspects that we failed to consider. A challenge that I later learned could have been addressed by what we call systems thinking. Hello, my name is Edwa Eboigbe. I work within Commonics International's Global Health Division, and I want to talk about the impact systems thinking can have on promoting more effective health systems globally. Systems thinking is an approach to problem solving that views problems as part of a wider dynamic system. It's a mindset shift from focusing on one disease area or health system building block to understanding the bigger interconnected picture in order to make better decisions and implement more effective interventions. To do this, both health and non-health, private and public sector actors need to work together. International donors, implementing organizations, and country governments also need to be very well aligned. Systems thinking is a promising science and has the potential to drive sustainable health outcomes, but unfortunately application has proven difficult. What are the challenges? First, adopting a mindset that challenges traditional project design and implementation strategies. Second, learning and implementing new analytical tools to adequately map the health system. And finally, navigating the complexity of multi-sectoral collaborations. Without addressing these challenges, we cannot revolutionize our approach to global health issues. I've attended events where health actors from diverse sectors came together to share examples of systems thinking application and their barriers to doing so. To my excitement, many are eager to enhance their capacity and address systems thinking application challenges. As we strive for healthier communities with seemingly insurmountable health system challenges, let's recognize systems thinking as a spark of hope that helps us reimagine our health systems into health systems that address financial and transportation barriers to health, making it easy for women to gain access to cervical cancer treatment and all the care their families need. Let us unite in embracing this holistic approach, revolutionizing our efforts for sustainable and impactful health outcomes. Thank you.